Hey guys and welcome to another video on Luminar Neo but this is not just about the Luminar Neo and this is not really uh, how good is Luminar Neo kind of videos that basically all the other YouTubers are doing because you know more they can sell this um, software uh, more the commission of course I love commission too but I would like to show you the problems of course with uh, Luminar Neo not because that I hate it um, it's more because I want them to hear and listen to this problem and then fix it also when you invest your money you know that this is not a perfect software uh, to be honest before launching uh, um, this software just before starting this recording this video I had to uninstall and install this software because they had some kind of like a Microsoft coding and, and some kind of problem that I'm not a programmer so I don't understand I just know that I have a software I downloaded it I click it and it opens simple uh, so that was not the case and it's been happening from yesterday so basically each time before starting this software I had to basically uninstall and install this software which kind of rare because I do use a lot of software honestly speaking I do test a lot of software and this is pretty rare I understand that Luminar Neo is more like an AI so it has a lot to do with the coding and etc but come on I'm a simple guy I'm not a programmer I'm a photographer I'm an editor so I do really want my software to work just uh, silky smooth now about the imperfection of uh, this software I'm gonna go to go back to catalog you can already see some problems here right but I'm gonna change this photo to something else um, if not something else maybe stick to this image um, so I'm gonna go back to exact same photo oh there you go now it changed and then what I'm gonna do I'm going to try try to replace the sky so I'm gonna go to sky um, and then um, once it's ready I will go to star is night and then see how it works so normally in uh, you know in in this photo it should be easy why because I'm gonna show you before if it comes ever because I did click at the I button and it's not working there you go now it's working so if you look at the photo this is probably the most simplest photo in the history of mankind I'm not even exaggerating this is what it is the reason why I'm saying it because look at that sky is blue that's it there's no cloud um, every single element you have only one two three four elements I'm just gonna go back to uh, the backward so let me show you again about the photo you have how many elements you have this ground you have this tree you have the dune or the desert and then you have the blue sky yes the blue is not exactly blue um, it's a little bit um, brighter at the bottom but you do have a nice color contrast especially when it comes to sky I mean it would be difficult if the if you try to replace the ground because the ground color is pretty much not far from the red so all this is the red zone and you have just blue nothing to do with the foreground however I'm gonna start go back to the starry night and then trying to change the sky say this time I'm gonna change to something else still you have problems right there you see you just simply have problem and I cannot fix it let me show you exactly what I mean by that I cannot fix it I mean, this should be a simplest thing in the history not even the, for the AI I mean even without the AI you'd be able to change this um, uh, sky with um, affinity photo I'm gonna show you right now I'm gonna go to mask and then brush and uh, make the brush as big as possible and as small as possible so that you know it fits somewhere here maybe like that and I'm gonna get rid of the softness completely just for the sake of example so once I'm touch it I'm going to touch it it's gonna get rid of everything so I'm just gonna paint the starry sky right there in this corner where you have the most of the problem right 
without any AI, just like you would have done in Photoshop. And it's working ish. It's working ish. However, when you try to use the artificial intelligence, which you're supposed to do, the whole idea behind Luminar Neo is not to manually um, paint the sky that you want to replace you should be able to do that without any problems. So I'm gonna get rid of that and go to Galaxy. And I would like to do exact same thing. And then try to, you see again, you have, uh, it's not perfect at all. It's it just, uh, I don't know, man, right? I mean, this is the simplest uh, thing in the, in the world. Now I'm gonna stop uh, complaining and try to let's say refine hey I mean maybe maybe it's gonna work so um, what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the refinement and then try to fix it so I'll go back I'll restart I will go to the galaxy you know and then um, try to fix the sky if it ever comes to me because it looks like they are not responding right now. They just got, uh, you see that? Again, it's got blurred. So this software has a lot of bug, still have a lot of bugs. Unfortunately, I have to, uh, I mean, when I say bug, it lags a lot. It takes a lot of time to get back to its original version each time. I'm gonna go to edit, get rid of uh, everything and restart, right? So go back to tool, go to sky start from the galaxy uh, it should change the sky any moment and then now there you go see so you have to kind of go back and forth to make things work now here's the thing you want to fill this gap right so close gaps to 40 to zero it doesn't work uh, global I even went downward, you see, it doesn't work either. Um, well, so that's that. So I'm not going to waste your time. The whole concept or whole thing that I'm trying to tell you is that um, it's not perfect, first of all. And see that the whole, the, to match the sky, it became um, kind of uh, underexposed to give you the idea that it's, uh, in the night time, however, see the gap between the tree is doesn't work either perfectly. It has this kind of like a hollow everywhere, right? So this needs to be fixed. The reason why that is should be easy to do because I'm going to turn uh, this one off and then I will go to, like I saved this image in my Affinity Photo layer. And in Affinity Photo, you can easily do that. So I'm gonna open Affinity Photo. It might take some time, right? And then, there you go. Now it, it's uncropped, so I'm gonna crop it. And then it should look exactly the same and apply. Right, now, we're gonna change the sky, right? Simple. You go to the select, and then you can select a color range, such as, of course, blue in this case. Sometimes it goes to the shadow area because shadow also represents blue. So all you have to do, super quickly, to go to um, the sample tool on the left-hand side, cl click subtract, right? And make sure that your brush is big enough. There you go. Now, you just get rid of the places that you don't want. Then make sure that the brush is smaller. Paint it over to make sure that, you know, all the unwanted places are not being uh, selected either, especially the tree, the foreground. Go to the left as well. And so far, everything looks good except this little part. And now you have to click delete on your keyboard and voila now does it look realistic absolutely not
but does it do a job? Let me show you exactly. First thing first, the tree looks phenomenal. It's no hollow, it doesn't have any gap, it's selected everywhere. And after that, all you have to do is to, you know, go to the adjustment layer and play with your white balance, for example, because it needs a little bit of like a tint, a pink tint. And then you can play with your curves, for example. If I had to do, I would go to exposure and then reduce the exposure a little bit to give you the idea that it's dark. And then I would go to curb. I'm doing it as quickly as possible just to give you that. It is a lot easier in Affinity Photo to do it manually than um, your artificial intelligence uh, tools, which is quite weird because the whole concept of artificial intelligence software, which is to not <laughs> do that, right? So again, I did it as quickly as possible and hey, guess what? It's Instagrammable. It's already good enough to, you know, to give a wow factor. Whereas in, in Luminar Neo, I could not do that. Just like that, you had to go through several things and it still didn't work. So that's my thing, which is, you know, even in a simple manual uh, affinity photo can do a quite good job if you know your what to do. Uh, then Luminar Neo, which is automatic and supposed to do a phenomenal job and not perfect. So. Uh, it needs a lot of work and especially uh, this kind of image where seriously like uh, you have an image like that wait a second that which is sincerely a sky um, I mean it looks different color now because uh, this is the original color and um, I just did automatic uh, selection for instance I'm just gonna select it and do the all the automatic selection that needs to be done and that all the thing on top there you go Ula. that looks oversaturated right but my point is that in this image you have blue sky and it's easy to select by any human or artificial intelligence but the um, Illumina Neo couldn't do that so that's my little rant but a productive one to show you that Luminar Neo is not perfect yet. It needs a lot of work and things can be done in Affinity Photo and Luminar Neo cannot do that with its artificial intelligence. So if you didn't know, now you know. Wish you all the best and bye-bye.